Welcome to the Medved Traders Pain Bars Tutorial. Medved Traders Pain Bars are a flexible and fully customizable tool for visual chart analysis. They allow the user to automatically put visible markers on the charts when various criteria are met. The criteria can depend on any combination of technical indicators. In this demo, let's make a paint bar that detects when the chart's candles go outside the Bollinger Bands indicator. To create a new paint bar, go to the dashboard and open up the Scans and Paint Bars tile. The Scans and Paint Bars window lists all the different paint bars and scans available for you to use and allows you to add new ones or edit the existing ones. Let's click the New button to create a new paint bar from scratch. First, let's do some housekeeping. Give this paint bar an ID. Let's just pick a random ID by clicking on the Random button. Give it a name. Give it a short name and give it a description. Paint bars can be simple and advanced. We will look at the advanced ones later. For now, let's make a simple one. A simple paint bar consists of a set of rules. As the paint bar is executed for every candle in the chart, the rules are looked at in sequence from first to last. Let's make the first rule. It's already there, just needs to be filled. The criteria would be if the close of the candle is above the upper bound of a Bollinger Band. You can pick the variables for the criteria from the list. Let's pick close, leave the operator at greater than, and pick Bollinger Bands as the second variable. Note that you can just start typing it in and it will find it in the list. An indicator may have several available values. In case of Bollinger Bands, you can look at top, bottom or center lines. For this rule, we'll pick the top value. You can also specify the particular indicator's parameters. If you check the Any Params box, then the paint bar will either use the indicator that you already placed on the chart, or if there is no such indicator on the chart, it will use the default settings for the indicator. To explicitly specify settings for the indicator, uncheck the Any Params box and use the Edit Params button to specify the explicit parameters for the indicator. Let's change the period to 30. Note that as you're editing the rule, the pseudocode is shown at the bottom of the rule. Now that we filled out the criteria, let's see what action should be taken if the criteria is met. The available options are Set Color Set Shape Alert Set Scan Result. We will discuss scan results and alerts later. Let's say that when this condition happens, that is, when the candle is outside the Bollinger Band's upper line, we want to show a red arrow pointing down. We would select a down arrow in the shape and as for the color we can name this color so that the user of the paint bar will know what it is and is able to customize it later. And we'll pick the color. 
When picking a color, you can choose an absolute color here on the left. But we would recommend using the colors from the chart color scheme on the right, because that way it would work with any chart's color scheme. So for this one, we'll use the negative color. We're done with the first rule. Now we can save it. Note that the pseudocode for the rule is now showing in the rules list. Let's make the second rule. Click the Add a Rule button. This opens the new rule. Let's make a rule that would show something when close goes below the band. So we'll pick close again. Less than. And we'll select Bollinger Bands again. With the same explicit parameters. And we'll select bottom as the value of the indicator. Now, for the visible part of the paint bar, let's make it a green colored arrow pointing up and name the color. Make the color nice positive green. Now we're done with the second rule. Let's save it. And we're done creating this paint bar. Let's see how we can now place it on the chart. First, we'll save the paint bar by clicking the Save button in the ribbon menu. And we'll close the paint bar editor. You will see that the paint bar is now showing in the list of paint bars. Now let's put the paint bar on our chart. Open the Indicators selector and place a paint bar indicator on the main chart. The paint bar parameters window comes up immediately. Let's pick the paint bar that we just now created, going outside Bollinger Band. Now we can decide how we're going to show the paint bar. We can show it on a band at the top of the chart. We'll make it the size of 8 pixels without adjusting the width to the candle so it never gets really small. Note that the colors are pre-filled in with defaults that we specified when creating the paint bar. When the paint bar is placed on the chart, the user can change these colors if he wants to. For example, he can change this color to any one of those colors. Now let's click OK and see what the paint bar looks like on the chart. You can now see the result, the arrows at the top of the chart. Notice that you don't see the Bollinger Bands on the chart. The indicator is hidden because you did not place it explicitly on the chart, but it is used in order to generate the paint bar's visuals. If you want, you can have the paint bar add its indicators to the chart so that they are visible. Just right-click on the indicator's legend, and click on Add indicators used by the paint bar. And the indicator that this paint bar uses, in this case Bollinger Bands, is added to the chart. Now you can see the Bollinger Bands right here. There are various parameters for visual placement of the paint bar. You can do it as Bend on top, in middle or on the bottom, you can put the shapes or the colors above the candle or below the candle. 
And you can do the various background parameters. You can also color the candles with the paint bar colors. This concludes part one of our tutorial on Medved Trader's paint bars. Tell your friends about Medved Trader and good luck.